Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve code forces problem minimal cost. So before we look into the problem details and uh, examples and solution, I want to mention that my channel is focused on helping people uh, who are preparing for coding interviews, Java interviews and learning Java concepts. On my channel, there are more than 200 solved coding examples which were taken from big tech companies interviews such as uh, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google uh, and many other big companies and those uh, coding examples constitute important varieties such as dynamic programming, binary search uh, tree related coding problems, graph related coding questions, DFS, BFS, matrix related coding interview questions as well as linked list and string related different coding problems. So if you are preparing for Java interviews or coding interviews, please subscribe to this channel now. This channel can definitely help you in your Java and coding interview preparation. So let's look into this uh, problem minimal cost. So um, there is a graph of n rows and 10 raised to 6 plus 2 columns where rows are numbered from 1 to n and columns are numbered from 0 to 10 raised to 6 plus 1. So they have given us a sample how the you know the graph look like basically right it's a very big graph so we have to start from this location with a row 1 and column 0 and we have to reach on this location right where row is n and column is 10 raised to 6 plus 1 right. So there are couple of uh, blockers here right some where we cannot move through. So let's go through the problem statement and we will look more details. So let's denote the node of uh, row i and column j by ij initially for each i and i throw has exactly one obstacle at node i comma ai. You want to move some obstacle so that you can reach node n comma 10 raised to 6 plus 1 which is this node right this is the destination node so what they are saying is uh, there will be couple of obstacles uh, so whenever they move uh, if it is blocking us to move from this uh, source node to destination node then we have to move those obstacles and there is some cost associated with the movements right so let's go through it so um, moving an obstacle to adjacent by h uh, free nodes cost u or v coins as below so if there is an obstacle in the node ij you can use u coins to move it to i minus 1 j or i plus 1 j right such that uh, if such node exists and if there is no obstacle in that node currently so which means that for example this is the obstacle right to this is the obstacle and if we want to move it from 2 to 3 like here right then we are kind of moving column wise right we are going to next column so v is the cost associated v coins we have to pay if we are moving uh, let's say we are, we have this obstacle and we are taking this obstacle from here to here then it is a row wise movement right right row wise movement so in that case we have to pay u cents basically u is the cost for that right so there is a row wise movement or column wise movement so uh, as i as i explained it uh, if it is a column wise we will pay u coins if it is a row wise movement uh, then we will pay v coins right so um, so let's go forward so um, note that you can't move obstacle outside the grid for example you can't move obstacle from 1 1 to 0 1 so um, it should not go basically outside of the grid right so that's what they are saying um, so input is the number that is three test cases are given and this two three four here so let's see what two three four means so the first line of each test case contains three integers n u and v right so n is total numbers of rows in the graph and uh, u and v is number of coins needed to move vertically and horizontally right u is vertical movement and uh, v is horizontal movement so uh, v is horizontal movement as you can see you are moving horizontally right and when you are moving vertically then it is v then it is u basically right u is the cost so that's what they are saying so that is given to us number of uh, rows 2 is given let's say here for the first example 3 is u and 4 is v basically right that is the cost 
and the second line of each test case contains n integers where ai represents that the obstacle at the ith row is in the i comma ai so 2 comma 2 so this is also given so where the obstacle is located is given right for example every uh, this first row second column and second row second column so that is given to us right this one 2 comma 2 means basically first row second column second row second column so um, as you can see this is given to us so um, let's just take this first example which is this example right over here so this is the first example which is given to us right so um, uh, let me just go here quickly so this is the first example that we have been given right so uh, so if we start let, let me just take a color quickly so okay so if we start from the starting node this is our starting node and this is where we want to go right so if we start we are getting blocked by these two obstacles are there right so one way uh, for us to move is I can bring this obstacle from here to here and from here to here right so one uh, uh, This is a V right and this is U. so I have to pay if I do U plus V cost right U plus V cost I have to pay right so we took this obstacle here basically right as I showed you here so obstacle will go here so now after that we can pass through like right we can pass through like this and I can go here or I can go from here also so basically we have to move that obstacle right so this is one way of moving the obstacle and reach the uh, target node or the other way is we can just move this obstacle here right so obstacle used to be here so we can move it here and then here so it is the cost is 2 into v right 2 into v is the cost for that right so we have two options basically either we can do u plus v or we can do 2 into v so whatever cost is minimum we will we will do that right so in this case let's just look what u and v is given to us so u and v is given to us u is 3 v is 4 right so let's just take u u is 3 u is 3 and v is 4 right v is 4 so if i say u plus v it is 7 right in this case and 2 into v is equal to 8 2 into 4 is 8 so uh, we will take 7 right obviously because it is less than uh, 8 right so 7 we will take uh, and to move the obstacle right and we can then pass through the uh, grid from source to destination so this is the approach we have to take so we have to to we have two options we have to calculate right and we have to take the minimum cost basically so that is how the seven comes so as you can see the answer will be seven for the first one right so there is another example here this one right this is another example so let's just look into this another example right so now exam uh, in this example they obstacle one obstacle is here one obstacle is here so we cannot pass through the uh, grid right so what i we can do is we can take this obstacle down one we can take this obstacle from three to four here right so we just move the obstacle here uh, we we just move the obstacle here and in this case um the cost will be v right because we we were here we were here and we have to go here so cost is v for that and now uh, other way is moving the obstacle from this obstacle we i can move it here down right then in that case in that case i will get u cost right so i have to take either i can take u or v so i will take the minimum between this both right so let's, let's look at the what is the minimum cost right so the cost given will be 3 and 4 so the minimum will be 3 right so we will take 3 in that case so that's why 3 will be the answer right right in this case right uh, for the second example so we can take this uh, obstacle from 3 to 4 right that we did so v, v, v will be the cost in that case or we can take this obstacle from 3 to downward here right so I can go from 3 to here so in that case uh, we will get u as the cost right so we will take between minimum between u and v and that will be the answer for us so 
minimum is 3 right between 3 and 4 so we will take a 3 as the minimum and that is the answer so this is the basically the problem of minimal cost of graph and uh, this is how we can solve it right so horizontal mo uh, movement like this it is v and vertically if we are moving it is u right so uh, let's just look into the implementation now we gone through the example so um, i just hard coded n u v values here and i just created the array 2 comma 2 for this example that we have right the first one so 2 comma 2 here so uh, for 2 comma 2 i just created the array and i created a variable called as max difference it is equal to minus 1 in the beginning so we will go through the each array this each array element right and first we wanted to calculate the uh, maximum difference right so for example here the maximum difference means in the uh, places is zero difference right both are in the same column basically so it is zero difference in this case uh, but here this is a third column this is second column so difference will be one in this case right so that difference we are calculating here first so once we calculate the max difference if it is zero right so max difference is zero means this case basically right means they both are in the same column obstacles are in the same column so the difference will be zero in that case so what we will do is we will do u plus v and 2 into v we will calculate both these things and we will take minimum from that right so uh, in this case as i said u plus v and 2 into v right so we will take minimum of that in case of zero difference right so that's what we are doing here and we will just print out the cost if the difference is one which you can see here if the difference is one uh, why it is one because this is third column and this is second column so difference between these columns means positions of obstacles it is one so we will have two choices u and v so we will take minimum from that right so as you can see max difference if it is one we will take minimum between u and v right if max difference is not zero or one then it means that we can always pass through the graph basically right for example let's say for example um, uh, let me just take out these colors back so i can show you actually what i mean to say so in if if this obstacle instead of here like the obstacle is let's say here right for example obstacle is here so i can always pass through the grid right so there will be zero cost basically we don't have to move the obstacle anywhere right or if this is also the case here right i can always pass through uh, the graph like this right so we don't have to move anything in this case right so that's what it means basically so if the if it is not one and it is not zero then we will have only zero cost basically associated right so let's just give it a run now to the first test case so we should get seven as the answer here so let's run this quickly so i we are getting seven as our correct answer so let's take another example this one so two three four is same now only three two we have to uh, update our array three two so instead of this is 3 2 now instead of 2 2 so now the answer should be 3 in this this case right so answer is 3 basically in the second example right so 3 is the answer as you can see so we are getting correct answers so uh, for this case right this is the second example that we just saw so uh, uh, minimum between 3 and 4 is 3 right here u and v so that's why we are getting 3 as our answer so this is a very simple implementation so uh, most important is to understand the logic so if you draw these uh, figures then you will understand how the movement works right and why we have to uh, do the minimum between u plus v and 2v and uh, when the difference is zero in the obstacles same column basically right if their column difference is one then you will take minimum between u and v because uh, you can move the obstacle like this or you can move the obstacle like this basically right so um, i think i explained in details with both these examples so it would be clear for you now um, so um, this is the way we can solve minimal cost problem of graph on code forces uh, using this logic you know um, if you haven't already checked my uh, channel there is a playlist for code forces as well as lead code and lean code solutions so this playlist has over 200 uh, different coding uh, problems which were taken uh, from previously asked 
coding interviews from Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Yahoo, and many other big companies. And those constitute important coding problems such as dynamic programming, binary search tree related problems, binary search related coding interview questions, as well as graph and matrix related BFS and DFS problems. Also, coding questions for linked list and uh, strings are also covered there. If you are preparing for uh, telephonic screening rounds of Java, there is a Java interview playlist that explains frequently asked questions and how to answer those questions. Um, if you like this video, if you like the way it is explained with examples and Java code, then please hit subscribe and like it. Your subscription is really important for the channel because that is the way the video can reach to more people. Uh, who are preparing for Java and coding interviews, they can also go through these videos and solve examples and understand how to approach different coding uh, problems, what data structures to use to solve different varieties of problems and how to build the logic uh, mainly to solve different coding uh, problems, you know. So, because the main goal of this channel is to help people, uh, you know, in their coding interviews and in their telephonic Java interviews. Um, so please subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, please share this video with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching this video.